All right, let's take a look at another problem from uh, the section 8.4, um, War Problems Involving This Point Slope. So the problem says a roller coaster starts ascending 20 feet for every 30 feet it moves forward. The coaster starts at point 18 feet above the ground. Write an equation of a line for the roller coaster traveling along in point slope form and use that to determine the height of the coaster after traveling 150 feet forward. Assume that the roller coaster travels in a straight line for the first 150 feet. All right, so everybody likes taking those roller coaster rides, but we know that in order to go down that really big um, loop that they have or go really, really fast, first you have to ascend up and go upwards. So it's that climb that we have there. So the first one says that the roller coaster starts ascending 20 feet for every 30 feet that it moves. So 20 feet for every 30 feet that it goes. Now it says that it ascends, which means that's the 20 feet above. For every 30 feet it moves forward or to the right. So what that's describing is our change in y or change in x or the slope. Okay, this it's creating how steep we have to actually march up here. And I'm just going to simplify the fraction. So our slope, the steepness of this roller coaster going up right now, is two thirds. Okay, that's my my slope. Okay. All right. The other thing that it gives me is it says here that the coaster starts at a point. 18 feet above the ground. So it starts 18 feet above, and if you can picture it in your head, okay, um, above 18 feet means that for no um, vertical distance, we're 18 feet above. So I have no vertical distance because it's our starting point, okay, but we're 18 feet above. That describes on the y axis where we are, okay. So this ends up being my y-intercept, or what I can really use it, is my point. This is my x1, this is my y1, this is my start. Okay, we're starting 18 feet above the ground. So no, nothing left or right, but we're above 18 feet. So now I'm going to take my information, my slope, and the point, and now plug into point slope form. The y minus y1 is equal to my slope m times x minus x1. So y minus my first y, which is 18, is equal to the slope, the 2 thirds, times x minus my x1 value, which is 0. Okay. All right, so now just kind of cleaning up a little bit. We know that anything times the 0 just kind of cancels here. So it's y minus 18 is equal to 2 thirds. And then don't forget that x when we multiply. So that's your equation in point slope simplify. Okay. All right, but now in the problem it says. So now in the problem, it says here use this information to determine the height. So what we're looking for is y. Determine the height of the roller coaster traveling 150 feet forward, which means that x represents 150 feet. I'm looking for my y value. Um, and it says, you know, just to assume that we're going in a straight line for the first 150 feet. Like we haven't hit it any loops or anything like that. All right, I'm going to erase some of this information so I have some room to work with here. But I'm not going to erase my equation. Okay. All right, so now if we've gone 150 feet, okay, so we're looking for y, but we've gone 150 feet forward, okay? So remember, forward is on the x-axis, that's left or right. So we've gone 150 feet to the right. How many feet now is that up, okay, at that point? And remember, we're climbing 20 feet for every um, 30 feet we're gone. So we're hitting a certain height as we go along. So if now we've moved 150 feet, what then that brings us in terms of our height? Because we want to get nice and high, that we have that big drop in terms of the roller coaster, okay? All right, so now I'm going to plug into the equation here. We have y minus 18 is equal to 2 thirds times our x. Now our x in this case is going to be 150, okay? And now we just have to simplify, take that um, 2 thirds times the 150. So here the 3 goes into 50, or 150, that's going to be 50 times. So now 2 times 50 gives us 100, 
But remember, we, to get y by itself, because that's what we're solving for, now I have to add the 18 to the other side. So in this case, y ends up being 118 feet. So we can even write that as an ordered pair, too. When x, or when we've moved 150 feet to the right, then we're 118 feet high. Remember, we started um, 18 feet above. So remember, we started right here at 0, 018. We've moved 150 feet, and now we're 118 feet above in terms of uh, the roller coaster. And maybe that's where we'll hit the maximum height anyway, and then go down for a roller coaster.